Today I will explain how to connect high brick and low brick. Please note that you can only choose to connect one of the high brick and low brick, not both. And if you want to know more about other electric vehicle conversion knowledge, please leave a message in the comment. Okay, now let's begin. Let's start with the high brick connection. First, we need to find the high brick wire. And usually we find the wire by checking the wiring definition diagram. Okay, let's pause right here, because I know some of you may still be confused. So let me quickly talk about how to correctly read the wiring harness definition of the controller. You can see high brick is pin 11 on the definition diagram. The wiring really corresponded to 30p plug in. First, we must see the wires from the direction of the incoming wire. Then, check the position of the plug-in slot, which should also correspond it to the definition diagram. Now we have found the hybrid wire, the gray wire. We can use an detector cable to connect the gray wire to the black wire of the brick power switch. Then connect the 12 baud output wire of the DC converter, the yellow wire, to the yellow wire of the brake power switch. Now the high brake connection is down. Let's test it. Next, let's talk about the low brake connection. As before, we first find the low brake wire. According to the wiring definition diagram, low brake is pin 21, then corresponded to the 30p plug-in, which is the yellow-green wire. Now we use an adapter cable to connect the controller's low brake wire to the yellow wire of the brake power switch. The trigger condition of low brick is zero volts, so we need to connect the other wire of the brick power switch to the negative wire. Here I directly connect the black wire of the brick power switch to the common negative wire of the DC to DC converter. Now the low brick connection is done. Let's test it. <laughs> 